You read stories about an attacker took over the camera in my child's room or a crime ring attacking the power grid. These are actual attacks that have happened and they certainly can take place. So we're just beginning to see societally the importance of cybersecurity to our overall security. It's no longer domain that happens online. It's only about my digital life, so to speak. But now we're starting to see that cyber attacks can have real implications on our physical lives. One of the questions that's on people's minds quite often is, why are we seeing so many attacks? There are a few drivers behind that. One is, it's just the proliferation of technology into our day-to-day -day lives. That's both in our personal lives, as well as in companies and in the government sector. The second thing is cyber attackers are finding ways to make money. You do have activists, for example. You might have heard the term hacktivism as an example of a type of cyber attack. But a lot of it tends to be financially motivated. That's driving criminal groups to come at the problem in very different ways. Some examples would be, and when we think about travel safety often as individuals, we think about going through the TSA line, getting scanned, but airports actually have a tremendous amount of information technology infrastructure upon which they operate. We were working on a confidential basis with one of the airport authorities. The attackers found ways in, likely through phishing, social engineering, and they showed that they could actually disrupt the operations of an airport which raises a lot of questions around safety of travel. One of the other kinds of attacks are cameras. We saw an example of this. There was something called Mirai. It's a botnet. A botnet is something that's effectively, think about it as literally hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of machines, computers, that get infected. They all become part effectively of a network of infected machines that then can be used for different purposes. They can be used for attacks, they can be used to gather data. One of the other kinds of attacks, the possibility or the potential of an attack on the power grid could disrupt our ability to deliver electricity and power to large portions of a different grid like the entire east coast of the United States. And so what we're seeing now is a good example of these attacks moving into the physical realm. We have to be thoughtful about the overall security paradigm because that's going to become the next frontier for attack.